guys, it's Jessie from Jessie Shelf, and today I'm going to be talking about my reading experience with Cassandra Clare's books. So, to start off, the reason I'm doing this video is because Lord of Shadows comes out at the end of the month, May 23rd, and I'm so excited for it, and I just realized I have been such a big Cassandra Clare fan since pretty much the beginning of her writing career, and I just thought I should like share my journey with you guys of me and her books. Now, a little bit of a background, I never read Harry Potter growing up, so these books are like Harry Potter is to some people. Um, and I just love them. Like these are my books I have so much nostalgia with. I grew up with them in my teens and I just, I love them so much. They were the first books I ever really read after Twilight. And I just, I love them so much. I love the characters and I just, I will read anything Cassandra Clare puts out. I'm complete Cassandra Clare trash. I love her writing and I just, I devour her books. Like Lady Midnight took me four days and that book is so big. But yeah, so basically this is just like a little story about me and Cassandra Clare. So let's start out with her first three books she ever wrote and that is City of Bones, City of Ashes, and City of Glass. These are also the first three books I ever read and actually when I read these they were all actually out and I was able to get them in a box set. That's how crazy it was. Um, and I believe these books were only supposed to be like the only uh, Moral Instruments books. Like this was supposed to be a trilogy and she just kept writing. So I got these in a box set like I said and I loved them so much. I believe I read them just after City of Glass came out, so like 2010, I think, and I just, I devoured them. I read them probably all within a month. I recommended to them to a bunch of my friends, and they were just so great. I loved Cleary. I loved Jace. I loved Simon. The world building was so good, and the writing was good, and I just, I connected with these characters back then because I was a teenager myself. And then um, I actually reread these via audiobook this year, earlier in the year, and I did find problems with them. Um, I don't really like Simon anymore. I think he's very selfish, and he doesn't want Clary to be any better than him, and he has this intense fear of being left behind, and it really bugs me. And then I'm not a big Clary and Jace fan anymore, and I'm just not into the girl hate in the, these books either. Like, Clary and Isabel, there is so much girl hate, and I think it's just so, so unhealthy, but... I still really did enjoy the storyline when I reread these books via Audible and it was just, it was great. It was a great reading experience. I felt all those feelings I felt before pretty much except I found the problems and that's probably because I'm an adult now. Like I wasn't an adult. I was young. I was immature. But yeah, the first three books is where I started. So after I read those three books within like probably a month, I started to read the books as they came out in publication order, which is a suggested way you should read these novels. So the next book to come out was Clockwork Angel, um, book one of the Infernal Devices series. I believe I pre-ordered this book and I had no idea what it was really gonna be about when I got it. I thought it was just more about Clary and Jace in a different world and I read this and I was kind of, bleh, I was kind of disappointed. I probably still would have given it like a five or a four star, but I just, I wanted Clary and Jace. I loved them so much and I didn't want to get invested in new characters, but I still pretty much enjoyed this book. I just, I was so Clary and Jace back then. And then next to come was City of Falling Angels, the fourth book in the Mortal Instruments series. I remember getting this book like just before the summer, I believe, and I took it to the camp I was working at. I finished it probably in a day and a half, and I was in the office when I finished it. And I remember just sitting there in the office being in awe because this book ended really crazy and that's all I can remember, but I just, I loved this book so much. I loved the characters and I just, I continued to love Cassandra Clare. Then the next book to come out was Clockwork Prince, um, the second book in the Infernal Devices series. Pretty sure I pre-ordered this, I read it, was not a big fan, was not a Tessa fan, was not a Will and a Gem fan, and you know what, I didn't like the triangle between all three of them, and I still really don't. I just, I wasn't up on the series, but I was reading it. It just wasn't my cup of tea, and I think it's because I wasn't very mature, I didn't enjoy the history, and it was just, it was just okay. And then I read City of Lost Souls, of course, probably as soon as it came out, and I'm gonna say right now, this is my favorite cover of all Cassandra Clare 
books. I don't know why. It's just my favorite. I love Clary's hair. And it was just, yeah. So I don't really remember what goes on in this book. Like I don't really remember a lot this series. I read it so long ago, but I'm pretty sure I enjoyed this. Um, and I, I even got the one with the exclusive bonus content, the letter from um, Jace's dad. So that's how big of a fan I was when these books were coming out. Okay, so now I have the bad news. After I read City of um, Lost Souls, my reading with Cassandra Clare, and actually in general, just kind of stopped. That was the point where I just kind of quit reading um, and just wasn't into it anymore. Like, I was in my last year of college, I was busy, I had a really busy summer job, I was making new friends, and reading just kind of went out the window. So I did own Clockwork Princess, the last book to the Infernal Devices, I started reading it and it got water damaged because I, I actually left it outside at the park I was working at and I just, I couldn't get into it. I just didn't feel like reading it. So then I got on booktube and I realized how much I missed with Cassandra Clare and there was such a big fandom of these books and you know what I was like oh I should probably read Clockwork Princess just because I own it and I should read it so I read it in 2016 probably in July and oh my god I loved this book I loved all the characters I loved the history uh, I loved the steampunk stuff and it was just it was a great conclusion to the series as well and I just oh I loved it and now that I read this and I love this I feel like if I went back and read the infernal devices I would enjoy them so much more just because I am aware of the problems in the moral instruments and this this series seems a bit more mature a lot more history which I love now I didn't really like history back then and yeah I just I'm thinking about actually rereading um, these three books in this trilogy because it was just so good and the ending was epic. Jim's ending, oh my god. And now just how it's all connected with her other books, this trilogy is so important in the entire series and I'm so happy I loved this book. And then of course after I finished Clockwork Princess I was like well I might as well finish the whole series so I actually went and got City of Heavenly Fire at a used bookstore because I could not find it in this hardcover anywhere unless I ordered it from Amazon and I didn't want to and I wanted this hardcover and it was just so important to have because I have all the other ones in this style in this hardcover so I wanted to complete my series so when I walked in to the used bookstore and this was eight dollars in very mint condition the spine is a little bit pushed in I was so excited and I took this and I read it in two days maybe three at work and this was crazy um the stuff that goes on in this book wrecked me ruined me I did find it slow at times but I really loved it and I'm still thinking of like rereading this entire series as well like I reread the first year on audible I started City of Fallen Angels so I feel like if I w did that I would understand more in this book but yeah I was just I was so happy with this conclusion and I was so happy to be back in Cassandra Clare's world as well because this then you guys know what came next. <laughs> and then I screwed up a little bit with reading the publication order because I had no intentions of reading The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare and a bunch of other authors. I had no intentions of reading these novellas. I didn't want to. I wanted to leave mystery. But I saw this really cheap on Book Outlet and I was just like, hey, what the heck, why not? Maybe I'll read it, maybe I won't. They're novellas, I can read one a day. Well, I ended up reading it like last November and I, it was okay. There were more stories I enjoyed than others, but you know what, I've always loved Magnus Bane. That's what this um, bind up is about. It's all about Magnus Bane. And he, I love him because he's the one character throughout the entire series. And every time he comes into a new book, I'm like, yes, my Magnus. And it just, it feels like a little piece of home comes with you in each book. So yeah, this was pretty good. I can't remember what I rated it, probably like a three or a four, but I was really happy to read this. Um, I believe this should be read before City of Heavenly Fire though. Um, you'll have to check out the publication order online somewhere. And then if you guys saw my Twitter at all in January, wait, February, no, I read this book in March. In March of this year, you guys know that I read Lady Midnight. Oh my God. I could not stop reading this book. I read it in four days. It was insane. Like my boyfriend would come home from work and he'd find me on the couch reading. He's like, what'd you do today? And I would basically say, you're looking at it. Cause this book just 
sucked me right in. Oh my god. And I just, I was total trash for it. And my ships, oh my god, my ships better be okay in Lord of Shadows or I'm gonna be in tears. Uh, I'm gonna be in tears. I might burn something. I don't know. It's crazy. But yeah, this book was just, ah, it was so good. It just made me, again, nostalgic. And I remembered why I loved Cassandra Clare so much again for like the third time. And lastly, this is my current read. I have Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy, another novella bind up. This time, this one is about Simon. I believe I was actually supposed to read this before Lady Midnight because what Cassandra Clare did was she released all of these novellas on her website and online. And I didn't really know about that, so I didn't read it. So I'm reading it now. Um, I am probably like 50% of the way through. I didn't enjoy the first two stories, but I'm enjoying more of the stories with Tessa Will and Jem, like the history. And I'm not surprised about that because I think I'm gonna be more of a bigger Infernal Devices fan. But yeah, this is where we're kind of ending for my Cassandra Clare story, me reading the Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy. Hopefully by the end of the month because Lord of Shadows. All right, so overall, my Cassandra Clare story has been quite interesting. I was so up on Cassandra Clare, and then I stopped, and then I got back into it, and now I'm just, I'm right in her world again, and I'm loving it. So yeah, that's pretty much my Cassandra Clare story. Um, I'm really excited for Lord of Shadows to come out. I can't wait. I'm not going to get it on the day it comes out. Like, I feel like it's going to arrive a few days after the 23rd, because of where I live. Um, so I probably actually won't read it till I get back from work. So I'll probably, oh, it'll probably be like in my June wrap up. But yeah, very excited, very worried about my ships, but we'll see what happens. Um, if you guys are Cassandra Clare fans, please comment down below. Let me know your favorite book by her. Did you read the books in publication order or did you read them more in chronological order, like each trilogy? Um, yeah, just let me know. Are you excited for Lord of Shadows? I would love to chat about that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.